Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Telltale's The Walking Dead. My name is Raisin Brand. Last episode, all I'm going to say, extremely emotional. If you have not seen the last episode, please watch it because so many things occur within that episode and a lot of emotion is expressed. It is absolutely a groundbreaking episode. Like, to be honest, like, the most... Like, I haven't been, like, that emotional for a video game, like, since The Last of Us Part 2. Like, I haven't been that emotional, like, since then. Like, it is absolutely an amazing, well-put-together episode. Now... I decided I'd be like all bundled up for today's episode because why not? Because now we got ourselves to Savannah and we're going to get things started with episode four around every corner. So we're going to watch the previously uh, cut scenes from all the attempts that happened from the last episode, all the decisions I've made and all that stuff. And we're going to just get right to it because... Previously. On the walking dead. Oh my gosh. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Yeah, I'm pissed about that. You're not coming with us. Yeah, so I ditched her behind. What's about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. Ben got I'll not Ben. Duck got bit. So we had to take care of him. I think we should look for your parents. <sighs> really? And Katya. Yeah, you need to know if they're okay. And committed suicide not, because she couldn't take the fact that her son died, so she took her supplies. life. What? And we found that out from Ben. It's all my fault. We gotta jump. What? No way. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Oh man. That. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Yeah, so that. That I'm pissed about because with out of the wazoo, without even realizing it, I told Clementine that it would be okay if she just spoke into the walkie-talkie. But now. Someone was on the other line and got a hold of Clementine, and I'm pissed about that. And yes, I n I've gotten a lot of backlash about leaving Lily behind. I should have brought her with me, but like in all honesty, I wish I was that. I wish it was that way too. But I have to go with my decisions at those instincts and just move on from there. Because at that situation, I didn't know what to do. I did not know what to do with Lily after she shot Carly you know so like I just I have to live with it and I'm gonna just go with it so yeet but hey we're now in Savannah which is what Kenny has been wanting to do and to get to this entire time and now we're finally here and we have Krista and Omid who are some new characters that we found and met in the last episode so let's just see how this goes for our group <sighs> And don't forget, we also have Chuck. Ah. Sounds like stuck to my tooth. Uh, not good. Can't I just hold it? No. Not right now, Clem. You've got some explaining to do. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Okay. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. There'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. But what if there the are hell? no boats? Is someone Maybe in this there? This city's not so dead after all. 
Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. How do you know that? What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? <gasps> Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Oh, I know what I saw. I know what I saw. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. I like that Chuck's got a shovel. <laughs> like that's the choice of weapon the hell he picks. What was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? That's what I'm Sounded saying. Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta ski daddle. We gotta get the F out of here. Everybody, run! Nice, Kenny. Ooh. Well done, Chuck. And Krista. Yeah. Tayo! Oh shit! He got you real good. Kitty! No, no, no. Nice try. Too close. Don't you think? No! What in the fresh hell? No! Thank you, Chuck. Get the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Move Thank you, your Chuck. Asses. River Street's right up ahead. That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> yeah, where's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. Yeah, we gotta help Chuck. I like Chuck too much right now. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! Like, I don't want to leave Chuck behind to die. Like, are you fucking kidding me? No! I'll get the door. Ah! Oh, shit. You good, old man? You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. <sighs> shit. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Agreed. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? It won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Yeah. Let me let me let me see if I can find a way in. Yeah, I'm pissed off at Ben. The woman Un won't be able to bust through that. Unfucking believable. She he 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 fucking left Clementine like behind. Like, bruh. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise at least. You want to try using the wrench then? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. All right, that's fine. What about the doggy whore? What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who well, the it's... hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> Kenny. All right, so where's the dog? Well, there's got to be a dog house. That's what I'm saying. <gasps> oh, let me guess. The dog's dead. All right, let me check the dog house first. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. 
I know, right? Well, check the grave. Looks like something was buried here. Well, why don't you dig it up and see? Uh, okay. Well, I kind of need a shovel, but the only person with a shovel is Chuck. So, can't really fucking do that. Alright, wow. Well, let me see. Let me see what I can do. I'm not going to look at the fountain. That's too fucking... Oh! Here's a shovel. The shovel is never not useful. Thank you. Now, go shovel the grave, cause probably the dog's in there. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, dude. What's buried down there? Probably the dog. It is. It's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Yeah. I like Krista. Krista's pretty dang, like, tight. Oh, God, the smell. Yes, but if you take a look... He's still wearing the dog collar. I can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Ooh. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Dang. That's... Quite gruesome. Um... Alright, we're just gonna leave that. Grave open. You're not gonna rebury him. All right. Let's use the doggy. There's nothing. Let's try it. Yes. God damn. <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> you see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Good. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Or I have Clementine. Careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. How about Clementine? Let me try. I think I can. Pim, what do you see in there? <laughs> Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Alright, Omid. We're going in we're going inside. Let's just chill the Looks fuck okay out. From here. Everybody in. Alright, let's get in. Yeet. Come on. Come on, let's get it. Get inside. Get. Let's have a look at that leg. Make sure it's not infected or anything. Because mm. it would be bad if it got infected. Huh. Lovely house. Uh. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Oh, the dating. Okay, good. Okay, good. That's that that's good to know. It's good to know. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not? And what about person? Chuck? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. 
At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? No, I agree with you. I agree with you, Krista. But, like, they did warn us. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. I know, Caddy. You're pretty, like, Place seems lenient secure, about it. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. All right. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris to know me until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. <laughs> Love you, Clementine. I care about your protection. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? All empty. Well, damn it. It's never good. Alright, uh, let me see here. Let's look at this photo. Aww. My dog will. Aww, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Alright, let's see what this is. Oh, it's the dog food. Yeah. Let's not eat that. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Exactly. We're not that hungry. Come on, babe. Alright, let me see. Let me see. In here. Right. Jesus! Oh my god. You're scared of a broom? Or what? My... what happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. <laughs> Supply closet. Figures. Alright, well, let me just. If you will allow me to walk in here, thank you. Let me just continue to explore. Another closet. All clear in here. Okay, don't tell the group that. Just one more to check. Oh my god. So check it already, dude. Don't announce to the whole world all clear when they're right fucking there, you know what I mean? Like, come on. I can see you, observe. Oh, it's a bathroom. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Oh my god. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Okay. Thanks. Of course, Krista. I got you. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Uh-oh. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. What's Kenny in the said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. What's in the attic? I don't 
don't know about this. What the hell is in the attic? You know what I mean? Like, what's in the attic, dude? Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. What? <gasps> oh, my God. Like duck, don't he? Oh my god. It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Oh, Jesus god. Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it <clears> now. <throat> I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? Yeah. I guess I'm... we'll find out. I got him. This must have been where he slept. I got him. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Yeah. I mean, that's that's true. Um, I'm not gonna shoot him, cause that'd be a waste of a bullet. I'll give him a good wrench. I'm sorry. <sighs> yep. We should bury him. Sure. I'll take care of it. That's fine. If you want to bury him, that's totally fine. Kenny, if you want to come help me, you're more than welcome to. But if you don't, I completely understand. You just take your time, dude. Take your time. Like, of all the characters that we have witnessed since the beginning, going through all of this, the one who has been through it the most is Kenny. Kenny has been through a bunch of shit. Not only did he lose his whole family, but he also, like, had to deal with everything with Larry and Lily, had to deal with everything with the Greens at Herschel's farm when he felt like he was the reason Sean died. But no, like you can't, like he has been through a lot. He has questioned himself a lot. Like he's been through so, so much. Like it is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. <sighs> Absolutely crazy. Just keep shoveling. Hey, Clementine.
You do this so slowly. <gasps> what the fuck? Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Hey, Kenny. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. Yeah. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Yep. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. But what about Omid? I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Exactly. Well, you better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Okay. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! Kenny, I get it. You need to calm down. Okay, I get it. You've been through a lot. I get it. We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. That works Grab too. anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Yep. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? You want to come? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Okay. It's a good plan. Thank you, Lee, for actually being smart. Let's do both, actually. Kenny, we can go look for the boat while everyone stays here, look for supplies, and just stay put until we find a boat. And then we can go from there. Smart, 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 smart. So smart. Yes. All right. East Bay and Lincoln. All right. Kenny is so, like, determined to find this boat and to get the hell out of here. He is so determined. But he also needs to come to the realization of what if, what if there are no boats? You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. 
Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? What if? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> but here's the thing. What if someone is doing this to distract the walkers, make them go one way, so that an area is clear so that they can go and do some searching for supplies there? Maybe that's the way of getting around Savannah. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh what? my god. <gasps> oh. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Kenny, man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. <sighs> That's not what I mean, dude. But you need to come to the terms, and you need to come to the realization that this may not work out. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. All right. All right, man, whatever you say, whatever you say. And ooh la la, look at them. They're all impaled over here. Well, isn't that quite lovely? Great, needs a quarter to work. <laughs> Don't we have a quarter? <laughs> Damn, built solid. Like that's gonna work. <laughs> Yep. Man, Fuck. right through the this dick. Is some kind of warning? Don't do something like this. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> he looks like he's having better. Day. I'm not gonna shoot him. Like that's stupid. Yeah, no, no kidding, Lee. All right, well, I need to find... <gasps> Aha! Cash register. There's got to be some coins in here. Oh, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Motherfuckers. Ah. Oh. Damn it. All right, ah! The newspaper machine. There's got to be some coins in here. Oh, who's the smart cookie? This guy. <laughs> yes. Just beat the living shit out of it, and then you can go and you can use the telescope now. Ah, this is beautiful. This is just so elegant. I appreciate Fuck! it. Fuck! What? What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What yeah. the? What the hell is that? Someone's barricade. A fake 
worse than death. Anyway, I'm gonna do what you've asked me to do. To look along the waterfront. And just see if there's anything. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh. Oh. No way that one's salvageable. No. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. No. Alright. No sign of any boats down there. Nope. Plenty of docks, no boats. Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Oh. What the hell? What? Hello? Oh. Well, you're a smart little cookie. Get down. Hello there. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? You wanna find out? Uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you wanna know? Cause I wanna know. <laughs> okay. You head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. All right. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. All right. All right. Just... Excuse me? Oh! Oh! Shit! I wasn't qu quick enough. Oh, don't you do it. No! Excuse me? Clem? Please, don't hurt him! Excuse me? Clem, what are you doing here? You're not from Crawford. No. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, no, it's not our guy! <laughs> no, no he he's not us. Who the hell are you people? I ask you first. The name's Molly. Hi, Molly. Molly, I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> Clementine. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yeah. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't 
or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Oh, shit. Do you know who's been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. <laughs> Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call Told you. Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Yeah, that's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> you just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Oh, I love Molly. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Kristen and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. That's crazy. And the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. How so? That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean kids? No. The children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. Assholes. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Hmm. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? <laughs> I like Molly. Molly is my new favorite Shit. character. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Right. Uh. Just right. <laughs> Molly's my new favorite. Isn't that the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Molly, is there a Molly? Damn, girl. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. Come on, Molly. <sighs> Come on, make it fast.
Get on the dumpster. Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. You want me to go in the sewer? Uh, can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Okay, quickly. Go, 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 go. Interesting. I would have gone up the dumpster and tried to jump and climb myself over. That's what I would have done. But this works too. That <laughs> yeah, works. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. All right. Well, we're gonna have some fun in some sewers. Shit. All right, well. Let's just continue. I don't think that grade's gonna be open, or that one. Ah, see? Look. Beautiful, huh? Yes. Yep. Now you're gonna smell nasty. You're gonna smell so nasty being in the sewage. Alright, let's see. Alright, um, that's probably locked. Let me just see what's down this way. I'm just taking the paths that are. Uh oh. Hell no. No, 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 no. That's not good. It's a drainage pipe. Do I need a... I think I need a steering wheel. Alright, well, let's go down the path that they're on. Could be the way out. There's no way I could take on all of those things by myself. Oh, no, absolutely not. Uh, go through this passageway. There we go. Ah, what do we have here? Don't turn anymore in that direction. Alright, so try the other direction. Oh. <laughs> He's like, ooh. Here. Not there. Ooh, look at the water. Ooh, it's so pretty. Shit. Fuck. Take that. Let me see if there's another way. Nice. Look how smart I am just going through my way in these sewers. Very nice. Nice, I made a shortcut. Here we go. And now let's, let's try the right again. Go back the way you came. Cause you are such a smart cookie. Basically wait until they all pass. Alright. And that's all of them. Yep. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Tiptoe our way through the sewers. <gasps> oh my god. Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Oh my god, no! No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. God, no! Chuck! Damn it! Why are all these good people dying? Motherfuckers. Ugh. That pisses me the hell off. 
Oh, you want me to act? I'll fucking act, sir, with this. Fuck you. Shit. Fuck. No, 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 no. no. Fuck. Oh my god. Why, 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 why did I do that? Yeah, no shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I am so sorry for my stupidity. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Oh my god. I am such a fucking idiot. Oh my god. God fucking damn it. Shit, it broke off. Fuck me, man. That door is fucked. Fuck. I already tried that. It ain't gonna budge. Ugh, fuck me. Fuck me. Dog. Dog. Alright. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. Alright, well, what about this? No Broken. way I could pick that up on my own. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What do I do? Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Yeah! What the hell? What are you do? Oh, wait a minute. Did your stupidity actually... Ah, get the fuck in there. Oh my god. Our stupidity actually got us out of there. I'm a fucking idiot for shooting that gun. God damn it. Fallout shelter. Oh, no. Where the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 Alright, let's see what we feel. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, God. It's alright. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here, no, are you no. from Crawford? No. They don't lie to me. I know. I'm Where not... else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I'm not I from... I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? Yes. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. <sighs> Let's just talk about this. Fuck Vernon, me. what are you doing? Shoot him! No. Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. <gasps> what the fuck? I have to do this all over again. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Who? <gasps> Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? 
No. no. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. Oh, hell yeah. Remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? It looks like it. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. I like him. Even though he tried to kill me. Very nice dude. Very nice dude. Very nice. Clementine? Clem? Oh, Molly. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Oh, jeez. We have a man wounded. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Thank you, Vernon. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Of course. Clementine. Clementine? Now, where could she be? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? All right, I take that as a new. All right, let's have uh... Clementine. You here? How about in here? Clem. 
Okay, that's the bathroom. I believe that door leads to a bedroom. So I think we're good. I think we're good there. Clem? Clementine? Uh. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. Oh, that, my apologies. I did not realize that that was the door. Oh my gosh. I did not realize that that was the room that they were in. All Clementine, right. where are you? Far door, please. Oh, I'm in the same fucking. Hello? Oh, hi, Molly. What are Molly. you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay, don't need the sass. Don't need the sass. But I'll check it out. I don't need the sass. Don't need it. Clementine! Clementine, come out, please. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? <coughs> what does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. Oh, my God. First good thing that's happened since... What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? <sighs> the hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? You should have to take- Clementine, come out, please! You should have just- That's a supply closet. This is an actual room, I believe. Doesn't look like she's in here. Fuck. Where the hell is she? What in the fresh hell? Doesn't look like she's in here. Where the hell is she? Clementine! Where are you? She in the kitchen? Like, where the hell did she go? That's my question. Is she outside here? From this, probably. Clementine? Clementine! Okay, you yelling like that is I don't th I don't think that's gonna help. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. She in the doghouse. Where the hell did this child go? I'm just confused. So 
someone's in the shed. Oh God. What were you doing in there? Exploring and look, look what I found. What did you find? <gasps> oh my god. No fucking way. Holy shit. Swear. <laughs> Look, Kenny. Oh my god. <laughs> he drops the whiskey. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. How's he doing, Doc? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Shit. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? That's fair enough. No, nope, I agree, Molly. That's fair enough. Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Uh, let's start with the bad. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. Just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. All right, Maybe Vernon! Oh, no. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Let's Hell fucking yeah, do can. it. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? Oh, come on. You, kid, Live I'd a little. take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Take the we risk. Go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. 
I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I love him. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? <clears throat> Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, dude. Neither do I. Or, should not say dude. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? I'm gonna take the risk. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. I'm going to take the risk and bring Clem with me. Because what if we get ourselves into a pickle situation and she could help us out? Could be useful. She could be useful. But again, I'm taking a big fucking risk here by doing that. Oh, okay. Alright, Krista's got a gun. Molly's got a pickaxe. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then Good. what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. <laughs> I love Molly. <laughs> I love it. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Again. Taking a fucking risk here. Ooh. I'll take that hatchet. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I applaud you. Yes. I appreciate it so much. Yes! 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 This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. All right, let's get it. Nice and easy. Let's go. Where 
is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Yep. Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck? Oh, fuck! It was a dead one. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Shit. Wait, where's Bree? Where's Bree? Wasn't she? Isn't she with us? The girl with Vernon, right? Yeah, where is she? Fuck. Fuck. There she is. Fuck. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Oh my god, Ben, quiet down. Calm down. This is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the <laughs> hell out of here? Yes. Thank you, Krista. Thanks for talking some sense into Ben. I think I know which way to head. Add a girl. Let's go. Let's follow Bree. I got a bad feeling about this. You may have a bad feeling about it, Ben, but listen here, okay? Just go with the flow, okay? Stop freaking the fuck out. Just go with the flow. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, don't go in there. It's got a big red X. Don't go in there. Why are you staring at the door? Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. All right, let's go inside. Figures. Damn it. Oh. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Uh, the armory that's right behind you. Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? 
Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Thanks, Molly. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about Clementine? What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving <laughs> you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? That's true. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Back before you know it. You're doing good, Clem. <laughs> All right, let's just let's get on out. Let's get ourselves a battery with Molly. It's gonna be fun. All right. Let's see where Molly is first. Ah, she's over here. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You right. coming or not? I am coming. Chill out. I know you're one tough cookie, Molly, but let's, let's just chill out. All right. To the alley, we must go. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. So. But where the hell is Molly? She probably already went. She's probably already there. Cause you take too fucking long. <laughs> you like to just gaze at everything and say, like, I think this is this. I think this is that. You're just really becoming Captain Obvious, dude. I get Bobby, it. you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Nope. You gotta go this way. Deliveries made in rear. Alright, let's go this way then. Molly, what? What are you doing? What in the fresh hell are you doing? Okay. I know what they're gonna. He's gonna say. He's gonna just be like, "Hey, don't see anything, man." All right. Well, Molly did go this way, so let's just. Had this oh she probably scaled the wall if i have to be <laughs> quite honest with you she probably scaled it uh i'm not gonna look at the sign that's stupid i'm gonna look at the sign he's just gonna say something ridiculous i don't oh god fucking damn it i'm an idiot ah <sighs> there we go Nice. Thank you. I'm an idiot. Let's see if we can get this open. Damn. It's jammed tight. Okay. Alright, then what would you like me to do about it? Get too close. Well, there's quite a lot of them out there. Hello, good sirs. Hello, good friends. Oh. That Leave him. He's mine. Oh. Nice to see you. <laughs> Molly! What? 
What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. <laughs> He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. That'll work. Uh oh. They're gonna break it down. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh. He's still alive. I saw those fingers twitch and I saw them move. Alright, so we need to take bat. a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Got it. I believe our battery is in there, but we have to figure out how to lower the thing. No power. Okay. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's locked. No way in. Shit. All right. Let me see. I can't really go over there. can't reach it up there. Nope. I think we need that battery. What about this? Well. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Well, don't fret. Let's keep looking. Let's just keep looking. Everything will be fine. I don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Okay, you want me to find a sharp tool? Sharpie, sharp tool? Um, okay, maybe if I borrowed Molly's pickaxe? Something you need? Yes. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow <laughs> Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Don't worry. Let's cut this. Okay. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! Fuck. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. I get it. Come on, take it out. It's off. The negative terminal's still screwed on. So fucking turn it, dude. Don't tell me about it. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. All right, let's go. Uh, this is fun. Great, now what? Skyline. It's shut. Shoot it out. Got it. Okay. 
Okay, go. Nice. Nice. Alright. Good, 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 good. Now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Love Molly. Nice. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> Go. Nice. Yes, Lee. Look at you. Become the acrobat. Well fucking done, my good sir. Well done. Well done. Well done. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! <coughs> Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Uh, well. That's fine. Uh oh. A little help here! <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Shit. Please do something. Cause that's gonna work. We got it. Break the door with something. Give me the hatchet. Give me the hatchet. Come on, baby. That hold. Damn well better. There's so many of them. We got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Got it. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. All right, let's go. Talk. Oh, let's look at pamphlets, actually. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? It's probably her ticket out. No, it's like... There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. And what's that? What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Man, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. Yes. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. 
Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Okay. I know, man. I know it's tough, but just hold out a little longer. I'm gonna talk to Bree here. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Yep. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Oh, I feel you. Oh, I feel you. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. I feel you. I'm gonna go check on Clementine. See how my commanding officer is doing. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. <laughs> Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? <sighs> I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Kaja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. We have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Exactly. Exactly. Like, what else do you want me to do? So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Do you want me? To go out? Do you want me to go to the nurse's office? Because I'll do that if you want. Nurse's office would be this way. I'm going to take these shell casings. Uh, don't twitch on me like that, Lee. See this. <laughs> Fuck. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Good thing I came out then. Um I honestly don't This is not a good idea. did it, but that even ski. What the hell happened? He wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. 
Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Well, good thing I'm here then. Huh? Guess it's a good thing that I'm here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination though. Alright, well. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Well, read it. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Ooh, a little home movie. Let, is there a TV in here? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Shit. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. You didn't put in the code, fucker. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Damn it. Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. Mother of fuck. You want me... Uh, all right, all right. I guess I'll look. I guess. Oh. Uh, no. You get your ass back over here, Mr. Crawlyfoot. Get over here. Nice. <gasps> well, I'll be damned. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. <gasps> Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. That's for the locker we just witnessed. Shit. Time to go. Nope. Oh, you're gonna take us back for us? I applaud you. Thank you. Because I sure don't want to do that again. I applaud you. Alright, well now we have the combination for the locker in Logan. So, what do you do? This must have been his locker. Boopity boop boop boop. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Perfect. We have two tapes to look at now. That is perfect. Bless the heavens. I'm happy about this. 
All right, time to see what is in these tapes. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh. Went well. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Nice. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. That's awesome. I found awesome. a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. All right, I'm going to view the third tape because I want to see what's on it. I want to see what's on it. I want to see what's on it. <gasps> Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Interesting. Well, Molly was a citizen here. Well, shit. Yep. We'll keep this to ourselves. And we'll go from there. Just we, personally, we'll just keep that to ourselves. And then we'll go from there. I think that's the best course of action. To be quite honest. All right, back to the classroom. Do, 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 do. Time to make our way. Back to the classroom. Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Hello. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. <laughs> I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? I'm just kidding. Here you go. Thank you. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. 
We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. I'm sorry that you had to go through that, Molly. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. The hatchet's gone. Oh, this is not good. Oh, geez, Chip. Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Ben? Shit. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Oh, oh, shit! Oh. oh! Nice! Lee! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. I got you. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. <gasps> Fuck yeah, Clem! <laughs> oh my god. I was about to say, I was like, I, I don't know how the fuck that what happened. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! God fucking damn it, Ben. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got to both fucking killed! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta go! Nice group you got here. <laughs> Not that time, Molly. I love Molly. If this Molly. asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. We'll figure it out later. 
we can sort it that. The rest of us? Don't we get a sight? <laughs> <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! What the fuck? Are you... <laughs> Seriously? So much for the armory. What's left of it? God fucking damn it. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Nope. Fuck! Ah! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Oh. Wait, look! Lost the hatchet. It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Alright, go. Go, baby, Come go. on, let's go! Oh, love oh I know that's bad. 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 But it was his wish. So I went with it. 
his wish. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Them, stay back. Don't get any closer. Shit. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Mm -hmm. uh. Hey. Back already? Good. Oh my god, okay, he's we alive. Got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. No. No. Don't say it like that, Kenny. Thanks a lot. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. Man, I hope so. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Sure, let's have it. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What's your offer? What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And oh now God. Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe. I, I need to think about it. You're coming at me with a lot here. Think it over. Of course, take your time, but I want you to think about some things. Jesus. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. I did it for his dying wish. It was his wish. Like, I mean, he makes a valid point about Clementine being safe. He makes a valid point. But hey, also... Going somewhere? Yeah, where are you going? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Don't tell me that... What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Okay. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Mom. You too, Lee. Of course. You have inspired me to like you so much, and you now sure you... sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. 
Good luck. I can't believe that you are leaving me, Molly. I really like you and your sass, and now you're leaving me to go be on your own. I mean, I respect your choice, but also, why? I want you in the group so that you can man up to fucking Kenny. Hey, Come on. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I'm sorry. There is still the mystery of the mystery man behind the radio. There is still that. So. <sighs> Clementine? Clementine? <clears throat> Did they leave without me? Did they just all leave without me? Clementine? Clementine! Holy shit. That's not good. God, don't don't do that. out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine she's not in her room vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's mine oh my god no way no no fucking way there's no time to worry about me clementine's gone 
There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. And who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Oh my god. Always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you? Now? Oh my God! Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, Fuck. guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Well, at least Omid's better. He's back on his feet. Oh, fuck. Lee's gonna die. They're gone. What? Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Earn it! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! You all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Oh, come on. No, don't do this to me. Oh, we don't get a preview? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, my God. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay. That was intense at the end there all right let's review our decisions and see what has happened uh did you kill the boy in the attic you and 25 percent of the players killed really i was in the minority for that 
Well, like, because, like, my my intentions on that decision was basically, you know, Kenny has been through a lot, recently just lost Duck in the previous episode. I just didn't want him to go through, you know, a lot of the trouble. So, you know, I was just, I was trying to be humble. I was trying to be generous and just help him out. I said, I'll take care of it. It's fine. That's really interesting. Did you lie or threat, did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 58% of players were rational and honest. See? Talk. Work things out. You know, have a conversation. That's my mindset right there for that decision. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 55% of players brought her. Okay, good. So I was in the majority for that. Yeah. I thought it was a good idea. You know, I said, let's fucking take the risk. Let's just see if she would be helpful or not. She was. Uh, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 47% of players let him go. Yeah, I pretty much figured that I was in the minority for that one. But, like, I personally was trying to honor his wish and all of that such. I was trying to be as humble as I can. And then did you reveal the bite to the group? You and 82% of players showed the bite. Yeah, I was gonna fucking say. Like, I got bit. I'm not gonna hide that from people. And that's just crazy. Oh, who came with you? interesting these are all different outcomes wow so i was in the 13 percent pool that had omid kenny and krista to come with me to help find clem that's interesting if ben was still alive i would be in that 16 percent there where the five of us were going after her. That's interesting. There's an outcome where you can go without Kenny? Interesting. That's all very, very interesting. Oh my gosh. That, oh my gosh. That is all extremely, extremely interesting. Holy crap. <sighs> but again, like, holy shit like i'm just gonna be clear like holy shit a lot went down we got ourselves to savannah right and chuck oh my god i hate that chuck died but you know he tried to protect the group he said go i'll distract them get out of here and that's what he did and very honorable man he got himself killed in the sewers it's just, uh, it's just very, very unfortunate to see happen. Molly. Let's talk about Molly for a second because, oh my gosh, I absolutely loved that character. I hope she makes a return in some way possible. I hope she makes a return back at some point because I absolutely love her. I love her drive. I love her... Uh, you know, her philosophy for surviving. I just, I absolutely love it. And using that pickaxe, hell fucking yeah. Or, I mean, I don't th really think it's called a pickaxe. I think it's, I mean, it's the, it's the kind of axe that climbers use to scale up mountains and shit. But I'm calling it a pickaxe because I've just been stuck with that for this whole episode. But fucking incredible. I absolutely loved that character. And I hate that she had to leave to go off to her own interests and such but you know getting to know this character and to know her background and how she was a part of Crawford and how she left because basically they treated her sister like absolute crap because she was diabetic you know all of that just was very interesting to see and then getting to meet Vernon and his group well Vernon and Bree were the two made ones from that group and Bree died because of Ben's actions. Bree died because of Ben's actions. And Ben felt bad about himself. He felt bad. He felt extremely bad about it. That he said, there's no time to waste. Let me go. Just let me die. Everything will be all right. And I was just like, I should save him, but also... Like, he feels bad. I want to honor his wish. So I, you know, did what he asked. And hence, that. So, you know, I mean, but like, in all, like, 
in all honesty here, like, I mean, if someone came at me in that kind of like situation, I would just honor their wish. It's like, if, the, if this is what you want, then I will obey it. I will thank you with my life. Thank you for seeing, you know, wanting to protect and care for others than to be selfish and care for yourself. I appreciate people that do that. You know who does that for a living? Educators. Educators that are out there teach us so many things in life because they want to see us succeed in life and they care about others success not just themselves but they want to see success in others so if you have an educator out there that you appreciate with so much and ha and they have showed you so many incredible things no matter what it is reach out to them and give them their thanks tell them how much they have impacted you i'm gonna absolutely do that at some point so with all of that in mind we are on a very big cliffhanger here as we're gonna make next week's episode the finale to season one of the walking dead i mean obviously there's also the special episode that will just be on a regularly scheduled like basis that will just come out when I decide it comes out. It won't be coming out like on a Friday for like New Game Friday, but it will just come out when I feel like it is time for that episode to come out. So we are on a cliffhanger. Lee is bit. We have to find Clementine from this motherfucker who's on the radio. That will be saved for next time. So Thank you so much for watching this episode of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As for right now, as we strive to hang on a very, very tough cliff cliffhanger, this has been Razor Brand. Thank you so much once again for watching this episode of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Go reach out to an educator that you think has to showed you so much, reach out to them, give them their thanks because they deserve it. They don't get enough of it these days. Tell them, give them their thanks. And I shall see you in the next video next week.